So today I would like to show you a few techniques you can try in the grid that are inspired by a Eurorack module called Trace. It's a four-channel crossfader that can morph and scan through four input signals. As always, I added also these ideas to the PDF of tips and tricks that I keep on updating. It's available on my Patreon together with the project files from this video and from many other videos. So in the grid we have already a crossfader we can use and that is the merge module. Right, we can set it to have um, four inputs, right, just like the Eurorack module, like trace. And if we keep the mode here on linear, it will crossfade between the inputs. So the first thing we can do is create a complex waveform by morphing between different oscillators. Right here, for example, I have a pulse wave with pulse width modulation. I have here a saw wave with shape modulation, the swarm oscillator, and phase one again with um, shape modulation. This I will send here to the filter and I will hit play so we hear something. Right, and for now, for scanning or for crossfading here, I will use the value module to manually crossfade. Right, this will go to the input. And then again, you can see that I can crossfade and scan between the four oscillators. Right, and of course we can also do this with modulation, with something like an LFO for example. So I will use an LFO, the uh, output will go to the select input, which will basically be a crossfader. Right, I can use something a bit slower. Right, and now we have something a bit more complex. Right, of course we can also do this with, with just one oscillator, but differently processed. So I have here another example that I'm going to solo for a second. Here I have again just one oscillator, the sawtooth, right, but it's differently processed. So after a flanger and a filter, it goes here once to wave shaping, right, and then a copy of it to phaser. A phaser with a heat with another uh, wave shaper and then two different delays once a so-called normal delay and once a modulated delay so again four different inputs here and in this case to crossfade between them i'm using the sample and hold lfo so it's doing this also randomly and this is what we get Right, we get something much more interesting with much more movement. And of course, I have here a few more voices. So I have here also a kick, a clap, and a bass. Of course, something that can be really fun is crossfading between full voices. Here, for example, I have three different voices with different sequences. Right, so I have this one here. Right, this is one sequence and then another one. So a different sound and a different sequence all together. And another one. Right now, in this case, I have just three voices, so I have the merge module set to three channels. Right, so I will send the three voices here to the three channels of merge. And in this case, to crossfade between them, I'm using here a sequencer. Right, and of course, you can set the sequencer also to be smooth, so it will crossfade between the channels and we get something much more complex. Right, this works really nicely also with percussive sounds. So I have here another example, again with three different voices. In this case, we have some sort of a hi-hat. Right, and again, also the sequences are different, not just the sound itself. Right, and also sort of a shaker. 
right so again this will go to the merge module one two and three of so here of course i have it in um, linear mode so it will cross fade between the channels and also here i'm using a sequence for this to get something a bit more repetitive Right, so this works really nicely also with percussive voices. I have here also a bass where I'm using again the same technique, in this case just with two different voices and sequences. Right, so again this is great for creating more complex results, I will add also some drums here. Another interesting idea to try is to scan through the signal set audio rates and add another level of complexity. So here for example again I have four waveform sine triangle sawtooth and pulse. Again they are going to the merge module set to linear mode so it will cross fade between these inputs. Right there is a little sequence here. And now for scanning through these waveforms, we can use multiple modules again at audio rates. For example, we can use the phasor module, right? This will output, if we look for a second on the scope here, this will output basically a sort of a rising ramp, right? That we can use to scan through the inputs. And again, this will be at audio rates. Of course, this will also follow pitch information, so if you are sequencing um, the voices, this can also work great. And now we can make all sorts of different ch changes. For example, we can detune the sine wave, we can take the triangle wave an octave down, the sawtooth maybe two octaves down, add some pulse width modulation for the pulse wave, Right, so again, we are combining them at audio rates with the merge module. Of course, we can also stereo spread here the phaser. Right, to get something with a bit more, a bit more movement. Right, so it's a fun sound design idea. And um, of course, this can be a bit more complex. Uh, if I stop this for a second, let me solo this here. In this case, I have a chord with three oscillators, the swarm, the wavetable with uh, sequencing, and the scroll with a trigger sequencer. And in this case, I'm even processing the phaser here, right? It's going through the sine mode or sine mode, and you can see the result here on the scope if I play this. Right, so also the sequencing, again, at audio rates, it will also have different shapes to it. Right, and we get an interesting complex sound. Let me bring in the first voice. And again, I have here a few drums. Something that works really nicely is crossfading between modulation sources. Here, for example, I have a drone um, mixing two pulse waves and a sawtooth going through a filter. Right, and I have once, for example, an LFO that I can use to control the filter. Then I have a random source. And then a five step sequence. Right, so again, I can crossfade also between the modulation sources. So this will go to the merge module, and then I will use here another LFO to crossfade between them. You can see on the scope here the unique um, shape we are getting, and this will now modulate the filter. Right, so 
right so we get some stability some randomness and we get a unique modulation source we can even use audio rate signals for modulation right so if i add another channel here on the merge so we have just like trace four channels i have here also a noise um, a noise source going through a bandpass filter that i can use also as another channel for the modulation right so we have sometimes modulation sources or slow moving modulation sources sometimes audio rate modulation sources like noise for example have here another example let me solo this for a second in this case i'm modulating the skew and the phase of the sine oscillator and again also a filter and i have also here three modulation sources once a sequencer let me play this Right, once a sequence and then two audio rate sources, the sine and byte. And also here I'm sending the LFO through the sine mode to get a unique shape that I can use for cross fading between the inputs. Right, so you can see how much more there is to explore with this technique. And um, thank you again for watching. Cheers!